I'm going to go ahead and let's just check what file we're going to receive. We're going to uh, be sent to file.php, which doesn't uh, at the moment exist, but we can see that it will go there for uh, demonstration purposes. So we now want to go ahead and actually choose a file. I'm going to choose a file tartan.jpg, and you'll see that the form, the parent form of this uh, input element, has automatically been submitted to the file that we specified. And it really is as simple as that. We've submitted um, or, or changed this choose uh, this um, file type, and we've gone and actually uh, submitted it to file.php. So obviously that couldn't be found, but you get the general idea. That's how easy it is to go ahead and submit uh, the form, the parent element for this uh, particular field here. So now what we're going to go ahead and do is look at um, an input selector. So let's just say instead of uh, inside this form we have a file, we're going to change this to a select um, element. So let's uh, outline the select element. And we'll place some options inside. Now remember I said in the first part of the tutorial we have a default option choose. So I'm just going to set that to choose. I'm then going to choose a couple more options. And I'm going to change the method of this form to get so we can see which option that we're selecting. So I'm going to say value equals default. And in here I'm going to say option one. And here I'm going to say option two. And the value here is going to be option one or opt one for short. And the value here is going to be opt two, uh, option two for short. So now when we refresh, we've got this uh, form where we can click uh, you know, option one, option two, or we can revert back to choose. Now what we want to do is we want to have the form submit uh, with the um, with the select thing. So I'm going to give this a name uh, and this is just going to be selected. So essentially what we're going to be doing is we're going to be submitting a variable called selected to file.php obviously uh, through get, get variables. Um, we're either going to be able to submit the value default opt1 or opt2 but what we want to happen is we only want to submit this form when this changes so what we can go ahead and do is we can say uh, we can give this a particular name I'll, I'll do it with the ID uh, selection rather than the type selection I'm going to give this an ID of let's say uh, options so here what we can do in our page we'll just go ahead and get rid of this I'm going to say uh, select hash because we're referencing this by an ID and that's options and I'm going to say dot change and again obviously we create a function inside of it I'm going to pull this down and just create an alert dialog with changed uh, and in a minute we're going to go ahead and out output the value of this so when I choose something it's changed uh, we get this alert box here even when we go to choose okay so what I want to do is now just alert out the value uh, of the of the um, option that we've selected and we'll see how that works so I'm going to say value is equal to, I'm going to say this dot attribute value. So now when I alert out value, it will alert out the value that's uh, associated with the um, with the choice. So option one, you can see we've got opt one. Option two, you can see we've got opt two. But when we click choose, we get this default value. So what we want to do is, uh, our aim of this is to submit the form once we've selected an option, but we don't want to submit it if it's selected the default value. So what we do is we create an if statement, obviously with our condition here, and we're going to say if value is equal to, or is not equal to, sorry, default, then what we want to do is we want to submit the form. So we can either reference the form using an ID, so we could give this an ID, or we could use the parent um, traversing selector again. So I'm going to just use the parent function again, it would just be a lot easier. So I'm going to go ahead and say this dot parent dot submit. So if the value that we gain every time we make a selection or a change equal or doesn't equal default, then we can submit. Otherwise, we don't want to submit the form. Let's just go ahead and um, choose option one you can see that that's been submitted to file.php with selected now equal to option one let's go ahead and choose option two we do the same but the selected is now option two and um, because we've included our uh, if statement the condition is where the where the value doesn't equal default 
the choose value does so when we click it we don't have the form actually submit so we need to think about this when we have uh, default values um, you know we don't want to submit things when we have default values because then we're going to be submitting something that might not be picked up in in this case uh, file.php so that's how we will go ahead how we would go ahead and submit a form uh, without using a submit button with jQuery we've looked at a file example which is extremely useful and applicable uh, where you would select a file or an image and have it uploaded and processed straight away uh, with no you know clicking of buttons to save your users time or when you were to go ahead and change a select option uh, or a select field or a select element sorry uh, and then you could obviously check against the default value whilst uh, submitting if the option is um, is something that you want to allow the user to submit so that's uh, submitting forms in jQuery without a submit button